Hey guys, welcome to the Know Your S Show, episode one. We're gonna discuss one of my favorite scissors every single week, and I'm gonna tell you all the details about this scissor, and then you wanna wait till the end, because at the end, I'm gonna offer you a special deal on this scissor, so you have to go buy it. If you don't go buy it, it's only gonna be good for a few days, so go get them, and don't email me after the special because I can't give you the deal. So you have to get the deal when I say it. So let's get started. DB20 is one of my all time favorite scissors. I'm gonna tell you why and a few things that I love about it. I have both versions of the DB20 right here. We have the 5.7 version and the 6.7 version. So I like both of these for a couple different reasons. The first thing that I love about the DB20 that's the same on both is the ball bearing uh, screw in the scissor. It allows for a really smooth open and close to the scissor. Uh, so really that's what that's all about. It's the smoothest open and close that you're gonna get. A lot of times the scissor has an actual screw in there. And what happens is uh, when you screw that in, it's not, it's not really working around ball bearings. So you might get the scissor a little too tight. It has a lot of rubbing and friction to the scissor. So this allows for the smoothest open and close that you can get. Now, the handles on these scissors are exactly the same. So whether you get the 5.7 or the 6.7, you have the same feel in your hand. I love the offset of this scissor. So if you like an offset scissor, I think this is perfectly done. Um, I like that the tang is not uh, a screw off tang, so it's really comfortable. Uh, the thing I love about Mizutani scissors so much is that every detail, these are all hand done. So they're honed in every uh, little circle and bevel to the scissors. So it's a nice soft edge to it. It allows your pinky to sit in there really nice. Um, and it's just got a really good feel to your hand. It's balanced really well, so you don't get, what, even if you're using the uh, 6.7 version of this scissor, it doesn't feel that different. You don't feel a lot of weight on the end of the scissor because it's balanced really well. Now, the reason I would go with 6.7 over 5.7 would be if I do a lot of scissor over comb, maybe barbering techniques, um, a lot of point cutting, uh, different things like that. Most of the time, I would stick with scissor over comb with this, with this and men's cutting. Uh, the reason for that is I would take a little bit smaller sections. Um, anytime a scissor gets a little bit extra length towards the tip, you're gonna get a little bit of a weaker feel to the tip. That doesn't mean that this is a weak scissor, it's razor sharp, I, I love everything about it. You can see how the thickness of the blade goes through here and it gets a little softer towards the end, but that thickness stays almost all the way down the blade. A lot of scissors you'll see, and you can take out your scissors right now and look at them, most of them are not too much fatter towards the base. They're about the same as they get to the tip. So they're gonna have a really weak tip. They don't have that metal powering behind it. Um, so that, that is really the breakdown there. The 5.7 is the one that I use. It's my workhorse scissor. Uh, the reason I like the 5.7 is just like I said before, this is for precision cutting for me. Um, I love it because uh, the blade is shorter, so it has tons of power from the base to the tip. So you don't have to worry about uh, the tip feeling a little bit weak. Now, I don't love it for scissor over comb because the blade is so small, uh, you don't get that. But if you're working with precision cutting, uh, the blade is a perfect size for that. So all around, you could buy both of these, and I would honestly, it, it would fill your entire collection from a precision to scissor over comb technique. Uh, it would work for all of it. So here is the deal. Uh, it's also nano powder metal steel, so I wanna tell you guys that. Nano powder metal steel, the great thing about it is that it's made up of the same size small particles. So if you look at other scissors, and I've talked about this in other videos, but most scissors are made of three different types of metal. Uh, and the chunks of that type of metal, if you look under a microscope, they don't fit together that well. So you don't get as soft of a cut and you don't get as much of a consistency through the blade. These are the same technology that they use to make a Blu-ray disc. And if you think about a laser reading a Blu-ray disc, it has to be really fine material 
uh, so that the, the laser doesn't skip and go all crazy. So unbelievable technology in this scissor. That's why it's an $800 scissor. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offer it at 20% off for four days, right? Four days, or should I do a week? Should I get crazy and say a week? Let's get crazy. Let's get crazy and say a week. So let's do one week. It's an $800 scissor. We're gonna sell it for $640 on freesaloneducation.com. So that's the deal. You don't even have to put in a code. I'm gonna change the price, but it's only for one week. And once the price goes up, I cannot change it again. We will have a new scissor every week and I will tell you what I love about it. If you guys have more questions about this scissor, post them in the comments below on Facebook and on YouTube and make sure you subscribe because we're gonna have a lot more uh, scissors to come and we'll get your education going on. So, welcome to work. Hi. Uh, I can see now. That is Know Your S Episode one. Thanks for watching. Go pick up your new scissor. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.